Hello, hello. I'm gonna go ahead and get started now, but hopefully everything's working properly. And uh, let's see, I gotta do red and white spells. I don't know if I'm gonna draft red and white, but uh, I got some tokens, so let's draft some Strixhaven. And if anybody wants to battle, we can battle. We gotta get these wild cards, so I gotta use these tokens and get my strict saving cards. Um, traditional. Which one has better prizes? It looks like this one has better prizes. Oh, this is sealed. I don't wanna do sealed. <clears throat> uh, maybe sealed will be faster though. All right, premiere draft. Yeah, let's just do some draft. Um, hopefully this sounds okay. I'm doing the arena background sound. Well, that was fast. Ooh. <laughs> Let's play Cody. I didn't put on music. Um, I can if you guys want. I put the game uh, sound up, but I'll try more. Whatever I hear is what you guys should be hearing, because I put the I put it max volume. <clears throat> but what does this guy do? Make Wubber. When you cast your next spell this turn, exile cards from Tabby Library until you exile instant sorcery with lesser mana value. Until then, da, 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 da. this seems probably bad. <clears throat> oh, dude, this would be sweet. This is probably really good in draft. There's so many cards to target. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I think I want to force like a a spells deck, like target my guys deck, target my guys dot deck. Maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> I could take this rare just because it's a rare. This guy's a boss too. Or we could just force the black white deck. Like, this is uh, basically blossoming defense with Killian, right? That's pretty good. Yeah, let's try this, and maybe we can get some cool Magecraft cards. Uh, yeah, I like this over the eager first tier, probably. Hopefully it wheels. Maybe it won't. <laughs> Climb the Firstborn is interesting. Um... <clears throat> That's another eager first year. This card seems interesting, especially with all the guys that can exile cards out of the graveyard. Um, I'm going to go with this just because it fits our theme for now, but... Oh, that's good. Defiant Strike is a uh, Mystical Archive card. That actually works really well for us. Comet Professor is pretty solid, too, for our archetype. Oh, man, so is this. Put two counters on target creature against lifelink until end of turn. I still think that Divine Strike is just better since it draws a card. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Divine Strike. Hopefully one of these guys wheels, but I imagine White is going to get a lot of cards pulled if they're playing like Boros. Boros seems to have a lot of good cards, too. Um, Agonizing Remorse could be interesting, but probably not that good in draft. This guy gets lifelink if I magecraft. That's pretty good. Oh, this guy could be interesting. Especially if we get more of those 1-1 one, one counters card with the lifelink. Uh, I think I'm going to go with that, although this is pretty good. Oh, man, now that's hard. 
Um, baseline, this guy's not that amazing unless we get, get wasted by counters, and this is like really excellent removal, so I'm gonna go with this. Oh, another one. This is such a good removal spell, though. I'm surprised it's a common. I almost feel like it should be an uncommon, but maybe there's just so many decks that win without having to attack. Um, or they have vigilance. Put a one counter on your creature, you control with one counter on it. Um,. It doesn't feel like we're doing that much one one counter stuff right now. So I think I'm going to just grab the removal spell again. And just, you know, make it a control deck if we need to. But like, killing their guys and attacking with a couple creatures seems solid. Beaming Defiance would be nice. Oh, we got this guy too. Hmm. The instant Hexproof I like a lot more than the lifelink but i really like that you get to keep the counters on this guy um yeah that's tough but i think i'm gonna go with hexproof this is like really good but this one's an instant it's a combat trick it turns off removal i think it'll be better in the long run this could be good actually um, yeah, based on what the rest of the pack I'm seeing, I'm just going to snap this. This seems solid. Worst case scenario, we're just protecting a guy. Or I, that's kind of good, you know, if they waste a removal spell and we protect a guy. But it could also be, like, secret lethal, and it's still a combat trick since it's an instant. Um, if this was an instant, I would consider it, but it's not... Target creature gets plus two, minus two. I think we're going to have to go with this. It's kind of a removal spell, but it might just be like hidden lethal also. This wield, that's nice. We do need more creatures. We, do, we have a lot of spells, but not that many creatures. One, two, three. Yeah, we need more creatures for sure. Um, This whole pack is kind of um, meh. I think I'm just going to take this rare just because it's a rare. The whole pack is kind of worthless. I, I could take the land just to have like a scry land in my deck, but it feels like our deck doesn't really want to be playing tap lands based on what we've drawn so far. And none of these really matter either. So I guess I'll just take... Uh, actually... I'll take this just in case we do end up wanting to switch to green. I don't think we care about learning that much, but um, I mean, it is a creature, I suppose. I'll take the Agonizing Remorse. I'll put it in the sideboard for now, though. Um, these don't really matter, but I'll just take that anyway. Hmm. Well, I don't really want this, so. Probably I'm not going to switch to green. This pack is kind of bad. Um, wow, we had like a green splash that was worth playing. This card is interesting, but because there's like a Professor's Warning and an X spell, I think I'd rather just take that. I just can't decide if I want the X spell or the Professor's Warning. Um... My intuition is telling me to go with the removal, but maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? <laughs> uh, put two on counters into creature control. Other creatures are going to get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Uh, that could be interesting as like a late game finisher. Village rights could also be interesting, but we would need more pests. And this is just any color land. I think I'm going to go with this. We don't really have that many creatures we want to sack yet, so village rights, I'm okay with wheeling. Um, we also don't exile that many cards out of the graveyard, so this familiar might not actually be useful. The Zephyr boots, though, are kind of... Whenever you connect, draw a card. Um, yeah, I'll go with this for now. 
The Zephyr boots are interesting, though. That could have been worth taking. Oh, if I had seen, the, if I had known I was going to get another one, I probably would have taken the boots. <laughs> um, oh, interesting. This is the new mind drop where they exile their yard. That card is like, this card is pretty solid. This card could be interesting, but it's a five drop, so I don't know how good that will be. If I had a one-one counter, draw a card. Otherwise, it's just a two three. Doesn't seem that special. Hmm. Although we kind of are doing that. We are picking up more cards with counters. I'll take this even though it might not get counters, but it's still a three drop creature. We can pump it up, get some beats in. Oh, I love those emotes. <laughs> uh, each player loses two life. You draw two cards. That's interesting. Oh, this could be good. Exile a card from your graveyard. Target creature can find the top. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this. It, first of all, it flies. So that's like pretty good value. But if I get any more of those exile effects, this is going to be our ticket. Um, I kind of want this vampire. Lash of Malice could be good, but we have a decent amount of good removal already. So I'm going to take this vampire and start shoring up more of these 1-1 counter effects. If the other one wields, we'll be in really good shape. And since we're going to go with one counters, let's just take a second one of these. Oh, that's so good. It doesn't hit creatures, though. So not as amazing in draft. Um, I'm probably going to take, take the vampire since it wield. Oh, this gets flying or lifelink. That's actually interesting. Um, yeah, this is actually a good creature, but I'm going to take the vampire just because it's doing our 1-1 one, one counter build. Get a little bit more top end in. There's a lot of removal in here. That's more 1-1 one, one counters, but I'm just debating between this and Expel. I think I'm going to go with this just because it hits anything. And then it gets like some damage in too. Yeah, let's go with that. And I think we're pretty good on removal going forward. Create two 1-1s. One, if they die, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think we're going to go with this. This card doesn't seem that impactful. And if we get enough pests, we can start sacrificing guys. Oh, there's the boots. And I can't really play the rest of these. I feel like we're kind of locked into Orzhov at this point, so I'm just going to take the boots. That flying might end up mattering. Uh, more 1-1 one, one counters. Hopefully pack 3 gives us a good rare this time. Uh, letter of Acceptance. Man of any color. I guess it's kind of like ramp and then it can draw a card. I mean, I'll take it, but I don't know if I'll actually play this. I'll put it in the sideboard for now. And then none of these are coming up our way, so I'll just take the uncommon. Uncommon again. <laughs> Gotta finish up my collection for Strixhaven because there's so many cards. Oh, I got another one. Huh. Maybe those will matter. Oh, <laughs> mine's Desire. Too bad it's not something really good. Oh, man. This guy could have been so good if we were in those colors, too. Um, I think I'm going to pass on it. Uh, first thing I'm looking at is either this guy or this guy. But I feel like we have a decent amount of re removal. The Orsaf Flyer is pretty good too since it has Ward, but at 5 mana, I'm not really liking it that much. I'm going to take... Man, I really want the removal just so I can just have all removal and like 4 creatures. <laughs> but um, it feels like we need these counters. Hopefully the removal spell wheels, but I really doubt it. 
Um, is Valentine good in her deck? Because Lisef is definitely not going to get cast. Um, we have a lot of removal. This actually could be an ability we want. And it has Menace, too, so pumping it is relevant. Hmm. I think that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, I agree. It's it's solid, but this is just a good creature just by herself. And she's a one-drop. I mean, I'm happy with that. Oh, that just goes right in our deck. Is there anything better? Um... Yeah, it's a great rare. And it got passed to us. Pack, pick, pick three. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. I'm just making sure there's something like busted that I'm going to miss. But I'll take that, and I'll gladly not have to waste a rare wild card in the future. <laughs> Sometimes God is real. He works in mysterious ways. Shoot, I should have grabbed water before I started. Um, I'll wait till after. But I gotta get a bottle of water, or else I'm gonna have such a dry voice. I want that brainstorm just because it's a brainstorm. <laughs> um, this actually is probably really good for us. We have so much removal that flying is gonna be like a big deal. Um, we don't have that much exile. Plus, that exile effect is like four mana. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Arrogant Poet. We need, we need a few more creatures to make this deck solid. Sign and Blood could be really good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Sign and Blood. Like, this is probably terrific for us. Great card. I'll take it. Uh, gain for life. Learn. Not super useful. Hey, big time. How are you doing? Uh, make your mark. I kind of like this because um, if we do trade with it, we're going to get a guy back. So it's like a two for one. Um, they're taking forever. Oh, there it is. Girl Spiral. <laughs> um, this is actually a good pack for us. Unfortunately, they're all like front loaded. I would have loved it if they were split up. Uh, I still think that the Hexproof one is the best. Um, although the 1-1 counters could matter. Uh, since we have two of these already, maybe I'll go with the 1-1 counter play. And yeah, let's just go with the 1-1 counter since we already have two of the Hexproof one. Yeah, because there's so many creatures that we want 1-1 counters on, including this, since I'm probably going to take it. Yeah, low mana curve is fine. I'm trying to beat them up real fast. And then I could play less lands if necessary. Um, I have so much removal that I really kind of want to have a low mana curve. A bunch of guys in play. And then if they try to uh, block later on, I'm going to Mage Hunter them. Oh, we can have a second copy. Well, I'll take it. Like I said, he works in mysterious ways, but sometimes we get some really good cards. I mean, this deck feels solid, but it could be just total garbage. Well, I, I haven't played this format at all yet. Um, so I'm not really particular to any deck or know if anything is busted. I'll take this, actually. None of these cards are good for us. Um, oh, that's perfect. We definitely needed more creatures. I think oh. oh. That was so loud. <laughs> Spooked me. <laughs> I'll have to work on the, the sounds for myself. Maybe I can lower it on my headset. But thanks for the like, Chelsea, and for stopping by. I'll take this. All right. And oh, God's plan. Terrific. Um, we have to make some cuts, but that's not a big deal. If you guys want to look at this really quick, and then type up some ideas while I get a bottle of water. I'll be right back. Let me know. Help me out. Yeah, green, do, uh, green blue, uh, I forgot his name, something Drake or whatever. Yeah, flying death touch, just so good. So good. Um, 
Excuse me. Okay, so creatures we keep. Uh, I like this guy because he flies. This guy flies too. Um, draw a spell. I mean, we built the deck because we got this guy pack one, right? So these guys could probably come out. Um, I think we need this for more creatures. Probably could cut a couple of these. Um, we might be able to cut some lands. I mean, we we're topping out at we tro we're topping out at five, but we have so many cheap cards. What is this? Eight, sixteen, seventeen. Uh, we could probably cut go blank, and yeah, we're at forty six, so we gotta cut something. Maybe we have too many of these. If I ask it for, what lands matter more? Probably swamps. Because we got so many one drops. Yeah, we don't have any double white spells, so swamps seem to matter more. If I'm gonna play like 16 lands, I think 16 lands is reasonable. Yeah, I don't know if I want to main board this considering we're already trying to make cuts though. But we should probably have some sleeves. Um I mean we could just cut this. I suppose it wouldn't be that bad. Or I could cut the vampires and just go all low curve. Like, this card isn't that high impact. It comes in and it makes a counter. I mean, it gives us that passive, but... Or maybe we just want one of them. We do get to draw a decent amount of cards, though. So we, we could probably play, like, 41 cards. Uh, let's do this, and then... Let's risk it. Let's play 15. Seems really bad to play 15 lands usually, but our deck is so cheap. And we can mulligan. Let's give it a whirl. If it's bad, we can change it up. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe we'll slide in remorse. Actually, I could have done best of threes too. I don't know if this is the best of three format. I just did whatever one had the better prize pool. I'd rather play for better prizes. I don't care if it's best of one, honestly. Um, got our lands. Guess we're going for it. All right, we'll just play that. And then if he plays a creature I can kill, I'll probably just get rid of it. Especially if it's that Drake. He's gonna play that Death Touch guy and I'm just gonna lash a Malice at it right off the bat. Oh, three toughness. Brutal. Um, this feels a little loud to me, but if it's not loud for you guys, let me know. I'll turn it back up. This one being Magecraft is going to be really impactful for us, it feels like. Draw a card, this card, a card. Biomathematician. Interesting. For each fractal you control. Huh. That's kind of cool. So he's at least always a 3 power 3-3, three, three, technically. Oh, sometimes the music just goes really quiet. I don't know why, but... Yeah, sorry about that. Mm-hmm. So I kind of want to, um, kind of want to attack and bait a bad block from him with Lash of Malice since we have Magecraft. This is instant, right? Yeah. Okay. So if he blocks poorly, we can. Uh... Oh, he didn't block. Hmm. Well, if he's not gonna block, I'm just gonna kill this guy.
And this is a sorcery, so we're just gonna do it now. I was hoping he would have blocked when we could get rid of his creatures, but oh well. We only lost two damage, it's not that bad. Curate. Interesting. So it's like a weird, uh, it's like a weird anticipate. It's got like that surveil feeling. <laughs> draw a card, discard a card, sure. It's got a lot of draw. That could be really bad for us. Wow, discard's removal? Oh, but that's not even in his colors. Is he really like a four color deck? That seems really bad. Uh huh. So I'm for sure just playing this guy because we're gonna cast this soon. Are you sure it's not too loud for you guys with the sounds? If it's good, I'm happy. That's good, but uh. On my headset, it's really loud, so I just want to make sure it's not too bad for you guys. If it is fine for you guys, I can just turn it down on my end. And then I won't shout. <laughs> Spell Satchel, what is this? Magecraft, put a book counter, remove three book counters, draw a card, pays mana for it, remove a book counter to add a colorless. Oh, that's pretty interesting. All right, Professor's Warning. Not a terrible draw. Actually pretty solid. <laughs> Honestly, the lands don't feel that bad. I really only want four. Like if what if I what would if this was a land, what's what's that different about my, my hand, right? I can't cast this anyway. I feel like I'm just gonna go for this back to back turns and this creature gets really crazy. So if I do this, I'm gonna mage craft trigger. And then this is gonna get big, and she's gonna get big, and I'm gonna attack, and he's gonna feel dumb. And then I can do it again next turn. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's gonna have removal in Simic. If he's a four color deck, which would be crazy, then I feel especially good. <laughs> I mean, he was trying to draw a lot of cards, so maybe he's trying to find his black white source. That. Play line invocation. Put X counters on it where X is your lands. Oh, that's cool. Um, just a 6-6 six, six then. We can expel that if he attacks. There's a land. Um, actually, this 6-6, six, six it's not scary. Kind of just want to cast this again. Yeah, I mean, might as well, because he has, he has to block. Mm, but which one do I want to pump? If I pump her, then this is going to be a 4-5, and I can make it, or a 5-6, and I can make it a 6-5 with Professor's Warning. So I'm going to do that, just to make sure I don't lose any guys guaranteed, based on how he blocks. But he has to block at least one. So he's in a block with that, and I'm glad he did it that way, because it definitely should have been the other way. Yeah, he definitely should be blocking the other one. I think he's realizing it. Okay, he figured it out. <laughs> um, but I can trade with the guy. Is that better than just indestructible? I'm not putting a counter on this guy, but do I just want Indestructible? Oh, actually, I can put... Uh, if I cast Indestructible, it gets Magecraft. We figured it out. <laughs> okay, so now we don't feel dumb at all. Awesome. Man, Magecraft is so good. I mean, I knew this mechanic was to be good when they announced it, but getting to feel it, it's a little different. Um... Double this guy's power and toughness until end of turn if you pay five. That's pretty good. Um, he 
drew a card with spell satchel, it looked like. Unless I missed something. I oh, know this is this card. Draw a card for each different power among creatures you control. So he drew two cards. Got it. And then he got two counters on his thing. Okay. Um... Hmm. So we have exactly... Oh, but we don't have a white source for it. I wanted to play these guys and then just have this up as a one-trap. But we only have two whites. So... Let's not cast a creature yet, I suppose. We're only going to get one in regardless. Let's just attack. He's going to have to block. There's no real profitable blocks for him. Right. And then the other guy, and then activate his ability, I suppose. Oh, wow. He's just going to give up his guy. Feels like he wanted to keep this guy around, but maybe he's just going to draw for a better answer. Okay. That works for me. And then he didn't really make us do anything, but I'm going to hold up the hex proof so there's no tricks. And go next. We should be good here. Unless he's got a way to make a bunch of tokens. Okay. He's double spelling. Draw a card. Feels like a forfeit. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of spells. Another one. Alright. So he's dead. Actually, let me kill this guy before he's done. I have a I have a daily for killing guys. I hope that went through. Or it's exile, so it might not have been for my daily anyway. But uh okay, this is best of one. Alright. I'll take it. I haven't played draft at all in like two seasons, so I have like no rank for it. No wonder the guy's making weird decks. <laughs> That'll be nice to pad my stats on stream at least Because I haven't been playing draft in a while on Arena Just a lot of historic And um, If everybody's in bronze Then that'll be just be free I didn't even think about that Although he's like bronze one, what's going on here? Make it fair, make it fair uh, Got a creature, got some lands So far Not too bad I mean, I'm expecting to get more two land hands since we have so few lands in our deck, but even just on two or three lands, we function pretty well. Doesn't really matter which one I play first. Oh, they got the elephant. That's so cute. And guess what I got? All right, we're just gonna play this guy out even though he's red. Hopefully he won't kill our dude. But if he does, it's not the worst thing in the world. Here comes the shock. Here comes the mystical archive shock. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Brutal. And it would have been the same thing if we played Valentine, but I think I'd rather keep this one. Lifelink could have been good against the red deck, though. Uh huh. Let's play a black since we're going to play this one. And we'll just keep up some spells. Hopefully he tries to burn it and then we can uh, beam in Defiance or something, waste his, waste his spells. Um, I kind of want to let that go through because I'm forced to play my beam in Defiance and then he can respond with a burn spell. So that is what it is. Plays a creature. That's fine. Oof, too many lands, too many lands. Um, that's fine. It'll make our next draws a lot better. I don't want to show him that I have the another land, though. So we'll just play it tapped. Man, they both have Menace and Lifelink? That's crazy. 
I guess I'm just gonna attack. There's no real reason for me to block. We have a little bit of life to play around with to hopefully draw something better. I think we have the five drop vampire in our deck still. If we hit that, that'd be actually a pretty sweet draw right now. I'd love to put a counter on Valentine, But I also don't want to get tapped down. Oh, the Onyx sleeves. These look nice. Are these from the pre-release? Like, you have to buy these before the set came out? Because if they are, I should have them. Wow, he only attacks for two? Interesting. Hmm. That feels like a weird turn from him. How many lands does he have? Four? This doesn't do anything crazy. Um, let's attack, see what happens. Maybe he's trying to like flash in a, a guy. I don't, it looks like four lands to me though. That shock on turn one was so brutal. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take it. And we get a guy in play or a lady rather. I love these ink arts. They're so cool. Oh, look at this guy in the back. He's like chilling. <laughs> I didn't even see him. I have Cody too. I didn't know that was the name of this creature when I first got it. Just read this book while my opponent decides whether or not my spell can resolve. And we have a really good blocker now, so this guy's not coming in anymore, even though he wasn't attacking with it for some reason. But now we can present a blocker here, at least. And, um, what's this? First strike, but not haste. First strike, and it gets bigger with magecraft. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a three drop, but it's still solid, I think. They probably could have given this guy double strike, but maybe magecraft is just too crazy. Feels really easy to trigger. Yeah. Yeah, she's so pretty. Look at her. Can't attack. Got him. All right. Um, yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's nice. Um, but how do we want to play this? Because we'd lose... We're going to lose a creature if we do this. It's got only one mana open. And we can trade it for a 3-2 if he tries to kill our creatures. I suppose we just go for it. This guy he can activate out of his graveyard, so I kind of want to kill this first striker. And then we're not attacking... I'd rather try to get a counter on this before we start attacking with her into trades. No pest for us. And these guys are just two powers, so we should be good against them. The Magecraft guy was scary. All right, just passes. I feel really good now. Um, interesting. I kind of just want to attack for free since he's gonna let us. Maybe he's waiting on like a white source or something for his borrow stack. Um, I'll get rid of this guy. And then if we're really lucky, he'll block here, trade the guy, and he'll lose a life. Unfortunate that we got uh, that we killed two guys without being able to activate this, but 
It shouldn't. Uh, I mean, based on what the game's looking like, it shouldn't be that bad. He can't block Valentine because of Menace, so this should be fine. Oh boy. So what do we do when we get roped? Do we like read a book? Want to watch a YouTube video? <laughs> I have a YouTube ready or a YouTube video ready for the stream if we uh, play a particular deck. Oh right, he blocked, so he loses a life. Good. That's exactly what we wanted. Got the damage in anyway. Killed this creature. <clears throat> She's scary. Oh, shock. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. Do we trade for the 3-2? I'm just going to let it happen. He might have more removal. And if he does, I'll trade Valentine for a 3-2. But this could still be useful for the power. So far, the lifelink has felt, felt good. Wow, these guys all... Oh, she just straight up exiles them? Oh. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to that. That's so good. He's not going to get that guy back out of the graveyard. That's really terrific for us. Okay. Well, I guess we just sit on Hexproof and keep attacking. This actually might end up being a good removal spell against his deck. Oh, there's the white source. So we were right. <laughs> he was just missing his white source. Here comes the Lorehold uh, mage guy or whatever. Five mana for a 2-2. Oh, man. That's brutal. And we ate his whole graveyard. That's crazy. Well, goodbye. And we're going to get a guy. Oh, feels good. Feels good. This is good. I like Valentine. Holy moly. All right. And we just hold up Hexproof. I think we just kind of built a brutal deck on accident. I wonder if we can get to seven. 4-4 uh, four, four Vigilance Menace is pretty good. This is a five drop. Yeah, he really needed that white source, apparently. Um, How do we want to do this? Yeah, yeah, nice. He finally got a guy, but like no menace. Or oh, sorry, he can't block my guy, and we can block his guy. So let's go ahead and play the poet and just attack. Actually, it doesn't matter if we attack like this. He can't block. Wow, that's really scary for him. <laughs> he knows, he knows. Did we play anything crazy earlier? No, but we had Killian and Lash, so he probably puts us on this deck. Excuse me, if he's been playing this format at least. I had a feeling that Boros was going to be like a solid deck, but... Um, since he didn't hit white early enough, it didn't feel like he was showing us anything really cool. Like if he had got to summon this guy when he had the rest of those guys in play... That might have been a little scarier. Enter the battlefield learn. Sure. Resolves. Oh, got that out of his sideboard. That's kind of cute. So he's got a 3 2 now. Very nice. Attacks for 4. Can trade this for a 3 2 if I wanted to. Actually, I can block. No, it has Menace. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could kill it, though. Right? Kind of want to. Yeah, I mean, it has Vigilance, so, so we can just do it on the attack. Or we can save our life total. 
Oh no, because that's Men menace. I'd rather pump into a block or, or when he's blocking. I think I'd rather do that. Yeah, let's not trade two guys for one uh, block. We'll take four. Mm, not the best draw, but whatever. It's like a third of our lands as it is. <laughs> I guess we can hold this guy back in case he doesn't block with the professor. I'm not going to pay the two life for now. I don't care if he blocks the poet. Hmm. Interesting. How do I want to play this? I could just like double pump Valentine and just kill both of his guys. And then I have three guys and he has none. Or I could leave this guy alive and then trade this for 3-2. And then make another pass. I think I'm gonna do that. So now when those guys die, I can activate to get a pest. Yep. And land for turn. Cool. This should be fine for us. Um, worst case scenario, we have a lot of life to fly in with this guy. So he'll be on a three turn clock if he doesn't force us to use Beaming Defiance. Hey, what's up, Neil? Been a while. How are you doing, man? These things are scary. I kind of like this uh, this pest though, this pest token. The whole making one ones and then they die and you gain life, but there's a lot of gain life triggers. It's kind of cool. Whoa! It's got a planeswalker. That's not I'm fair. An outcast because <laughs> of cowards like you. What's up, Anthony? I like so that emo. Discard a card if you do. Draw a card if a creature card was discarded this way. Draw two cards instead. Discards a creature and draws two cards. All right, well, nothing too crazy yet. At least this graveyard wasn't full of guys. Um, all right, that's not a bad draw. Uh, let's see, he blocks here with here. So I'm gonna get him for four. I don't think I wanna waste my time with this guy. Uh, I'm just gonna go Alpha Strike on him. And then he'll definitely block the 3 2. So I'm going to get 4 damage in. I could make it 5 damage, put him to 3, and then I have a flyer that I can protect with Beaming Defiance. Actually, I think I talked myself into that. So, 6, 5, yeah, he'll be at 3. Worst case scenario, he has a removal. But I have Beaming Defiance, and then he feels dumb. And if he kills these guys, I gain life anyway. Yeah. Alright. Assuming he doesn't do anything crazy, I should be able to kill him. Wow. I'm trying to card that badly, huh? This is probably going to minus for a blocker, but unless it flies, it's not a big deal. The ink wing, ink wing, uh, ink wings are looking so dope on this guy. I can't talk, <laughs> especially when it's this late. I suppose. All right, so this is drawing cards. That's fine. Has to find an answer. 
I like his name. Ghost Toast. <laughs> I agree, Todd. The, the ink stuff is really cool. I didn't actually notice the trend until I was opening all those packs on the stream yesterday. I was like, man, these ink guys are like really, really awesome. Yeah, it's got like Psy feels. I, I said that when I saw Killian. I was like, oh, this guy's like Psy, but there's so many of them. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Especially because there's like the Inklings that are actual monsters. Uh, what does that do? Oh, he does have a flyer. Brutal. All right, well, it's, uh, what does this all do? Whenever, whenever creature is better feeling, it just damage to its power to any target. Wow, okay. This is getting close. Um, what do? Uh-oh. That's getting bad for us. So he's going to double learn, make his guy a 3-4. Wow, that's so bad for us. What are the odds? Oh wait, he didn't cast it on. Oh, it targets itself. You, no, you can choose new card targets. What the? You messed up. It should have been a three-four. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered if if we if we use this because it's plus two. But it feels like he should have been using them both on the flyer. I think he might have regretted that based on how he's playing slow now. Uh. Oh, that's true. We have three creatures. You're right. It's getting it's it's getting late for me. <laughs> uh, so we just attack, and then whichever one he doesn't block, we pump. Smarts. Carmichael coming in clutch. Uh, take action, of course. Yeah, I was so focused on the fact that he had a flyer, I forgot that he didn't actually play enough blockers. Uh, got him. <laughs> I love this emote. I like the Will one too, where he's just like, I misplayed, huh? Thinking? I'll, I'll, I'll show it. Um, sure. I usually don't vote in their little surveys, but whatever. I guess I did have fun. I don't want to be a liar. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go again. So far, no losses, so maybe I'll get some uh, juicy gems back. Something lit up behind me. It spooked me. Mm -mm. Wow, that's a good hand, too. Although, no creatures, now that I think about it. Hmm. I think since it has so much removal, though, I'm willing to keep it. Green deck. Oh, well, what a terrific draw. Um, green deck is probably really good for us, considering we have two X spells. Green, black. Okay. Well, now it could be interesting. Um, I'd rather he didn't have removal, but... If he has big creatures, the X spells are going to look really good. There's one. Hmm. Um, I don't know how I want to play it. I could like attack and then he'll for sure block and then I kill it. I could attack, he doesn't block, I play Promising Dusk Mage. I could just play the Promising Dusk Mage and pass, he attacks me for two, I don't block. Or maybe he wouldn't attack because I have this, and it's three toughness. Okay, I'll go. Um, I'm just gonna attack, I'll see if I get the free damage in. Sweet, got it. All right, free damage is free. I wanna play her. But I think I'm just going to hold this up instead. I just don't want him to like... I would rather he didn't play one of those green spells where it's like if my guy dies I win or something. But uh, we'll risk it. I want to hold her as long as possible in case he has removal so we can put counters. Alright, cool. Don't have a spell. Um... 
Oh, it's any creature gets plus one? Wow. I didn't realize that. I just thought they buffed themselves. Or maybe that other guy only buffed himself, but this one doesn't. Cool. Divine Strike isn't a bad draw. Hmm. I guess I'll see if he has removal first. All right, I'm just gonna run out my Dusk Mage while he's not doing anything. There's no field nooks in this format, are there? I don't remember seeing any field rests. What's this? Search library for a basic land, put it on top of your deck. Oh, he's three color. Also, this card seems bad, but I guess if you're in a three color deck, it's terrific. Because he really needed the island. <laughs> um, I'm kind of nervous as to what he's going to play now, but this feels really good. Let's get some counters on the girl. Um, since he's probably going to block, I'm going to put the damage here. Or the plus one here. I guess I could have spread it out more evenly, but I really want him to just not have creatures, if possible. Oh! <laughs> I guess I get punished for the square up, but that's fine, I suppose. Wow, that's interesting. I really like this card. Flavor-wise, this card is awesome. <laughs> um, let's just get rid of his guy. Please, sir, can you resolve my spell? Whoa! Uh, I guess plus one plus one reach until any turn, put a wall counter on it. All right, fine. You got a big. Mm -hmm. All right, that's fine. We pass, we pass. He got me. That was good. That was a big play, if you will. <laughs> Eureka moment. Charge your cards, put a land for the... Oh, this is the uh, the girl spiral. Sure. Didn't hit a land. That could be really bad for us. Or good if he needs a... Never mind. I was going to say if he needs a second blue source, maybe. But looks like he's got everything he needs. All right, we're just gonna go in. If he doesn't block, we'll Defiant Strike. If he plays a removal spell, we feel really good. Hitting a land does not feel good there. But, um, this is still good damage. Assuming he has no life gain, he's at six, so we can present lethal whenever we want. Another one, wow. His deck might get really crazy if we keep letting him draw cards, but at least we have to... Oh, I'll wait to kill him next turn. Eight mana. I'm trying to think of what crazy cards were in Strixhaven. Oh, this is one of them. Trample 7-7. Seven, seven. You can put it on the bottom of your library. Oh, third from the top. If it's in your graveyard. Gain through life and draw a card. Wow, that's like everything we didn't want to happen. <laughs> At the very least, it's probably going to be um, expelled, but ouch. Yeah, I have to, um, I have to save the expel for the 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, maybe not, but yeah, I, I probably could just like power through it. I mean, he for sure blocks. 
but I use all my protection if I do that. I mean, he could have another one, which would be really bad. Then we look stupid. Oh, Day of Judgment is an archive card, now that you mentioned it, Carmichael. Yeah. Holy moly. That's true. But that's not in Soul Tie. Um, I am not going to attack and then regret it. Unless... <laughs> Oh, this? I didn't even notice the library back here. That's really nice. Ooh. So it's going to be an 8 9 and fight? <sighs> How do we make that not bad for us? Oh, we just give uh, hexproof. And then there's no fight. He still gets pumped, so he'll probably still attack, and then we can expel. But I'm glad I didn't attack now. If he doesn't attack, I'll be, wow. I was gonna say, I'll be shocked, and I am. <laughs> Interesting. That's uh, not bad, actually, because we can give flying, right? Uh, how many cards do you have to exile? Just a card, but four mana. Hmm. Okay. That's not too shabby. And we still have the Axe Spell. This bird's going to come in clutch. I'm surprised. Uh, no attacks. Same plan. He didn't cast anything, so maybe we're okay. Um... Wow, another Eureka moment. <laughs> um, yeah. If he has a threat, I mean, he's probably drawing it by now. It's a lot of mana. Don't have it, don't have it. Good. So far, the plan's going according to uh, how we drew it up. Oh, he has Needle Thorn Drake. That's so bad for us. Two of them. What in tarnation? Ah, man, we're trying all lands too. Actually, this might not be bad because we kind of need all three spells now. <sighs> He's forced our hand. <laughs> Two needle thorns. What a good deck, honestly. That's like that's crazy. Um, attack like this, I want to say. And then he'll probably block both. If he doesn't, I don't care. But I want it. Okay, cool. And then. Make you indestructible. And then we don't have to worry about these death touchers. Exile target artifact or creature, its controller gets a 4-4. Four, four. That's annoying. Um, I really don't want to do this, but I kind of have to, because it's not going to die now. And I need it to die. Unfortunate. Uh, we're really in a bad spot now. His deck is just so good. He has so much draw. Did we win the game where we multi five? I think that was last game, right? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Two of them? Yo, this deck is crazy. I was curious if there was going to be like some kind of three color combinations where like certain mechanics from each school really synergize decently with other schools. Um, I'm going to go ahead and concede. We're dead. Uh, no matter what. But that's fine. We let the game go on too long. 
Unfortunate. I mean, we draw, we drew a lot of lands, to be fair. We drew like half of our lands. Um, but it happens. But yeah, I was like, like I was saying, I was wondering how many of these like, um, these like schools would synergize with each other were like, um, there's a lot of counters in Orzov and then the other school, I forgot. And then um, there's a lot of like Magecraft, but also I want to target my own guys that isn't just in Orzov exclusively. So like if you can have like a decent three color combo where the synergies of um, two schools that work together really well can form like an even stronger deck. It feels like that's what he was kind of showcasing there. Um, albeit kind of slow. If we had like um, less lands, we probably would have punished him. Wow, a whole minute. Usually you find an opponent in like seconds. Madness is silent. It's kind of edgy, bro. All right, these are more of the lands that I was expecting to, or hands that I was expecting to have with like two lands and a creature, but um, this is what we're going for. We keep drawing the X-Bells, which feels good. Um, looks like we're playing against Boros again. Oh, is it? So we can see Persmari. Oh, that's cool. Not good for us, but a cool creature nonetheless. Assuming he attacks and spells, um, I will just expel it next turn probably. Because this creature gets in our way really bad. Plus one, plus one, Vigilance Trample. That's a cool card. Cheap for tokens. I like that. Mm hmm. I think I'm just going to play this. Well. <sighs> He's probably going to have removal and like burn spells, which is annoying. Let's just play another one of these and see what he does. He's going to like equip and then opt. That'd be funny. Ooh, what is this? 2 4 flying attacks, the next instant or sorcery. You cast this turn, cost X less, where X is its power. That's pretty solid. Um, Kind of scary. But... If we kill it, is its power zero when it resolves? Or is it just the last thing it remembers? I'm not actually sure how that works, but... I... Hmm... This is a sorcery, and I'd rather use it for her. I'm going to just pass, and we're going to expel when he attacks with that Maelstrom Muse. Besides Wrath of God, though, were there any other um, field wrath effects of any kind, like Anger of the Gods or anything in this format? I don't really remember seeing any. Whenever you cast or copy an instant draw... Okay, Major Magecraft draw a card. Got it. Um, that's kind of cool. Feels like you want to attack first and then do this, right? Unless you're going to cast like a three drop that's one blue. This guy's going to get annoying too. <laughs> wow, he didn't attack. The patience. People are showing so much patience. Um, well, I don't want to pass again and then he doesn't attack and then I look dumb. So I kind of want to play this. He doesn't have that many cards, and we can afford to not... If he attacks with this and this, we take five. We can block this, so that won't come in. But if he gets a cheap spell that's brutal, we feel bad. Let's just risk it. If we don't risk it, we're going we're gonna to get blown out like last game. Yeah, that's true. There is that spell. Um, you have to, like... Sacrifice, no, you have to exile a card out of your graveyard and then you do that much CMC or mana value now. <laughs> you do mana value equal to the spell damage to all non dragons. I think, I think you're right. That's the only one that I remember though. Crux of Fate is an archive too, you're right. 
Yeah, also, if you're playing the red spell, it feels like you kind of have to have a dragon in your deck. Or, I don't know, like the, none of these, none of the schools really feel like they're playing a control deck. Even the blue-red one is like, is it, like, spells? Not like, is it control? That's pretty good. Ouch. Oh, does that... Oh, that's bad for us. He's smart. He's smart. He didn't attack because he wanted to get Vigilance. Now our x spells are useless. We need to draw the other one. Um, with that being said, I'm just going to play this then so we don't get blown out. Still can't attack, though. That's fine. At least if this guy dies, I draw a card, which is the main goal. Oh no, he's an exile it. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? That's free. Oh man, we lost. This guy's deck is crazy. <laughs> he's about to attack with this and it's gonna have like six power and he's gonna cast this for free. Wow, that's crazy. Feels like he's missing some red sources. Like he only cast one spell last turn. Maybe he needs more red mana. Yeah. And now uh, this is a two drop, so you're gonna blow me out. And I don't get to draw a card. This is so sad. Please don't cast it. Please be greedy. Hold on to it. If I can hold up Beaming Defiance, I feel a little bit more comfortable. He's hovering it. It's 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 over. <laughs> yep. Ah, that's so bad for us. Well, it could be worse. Wait, it still drew us a card? Oh, this gives us a card. I guess I feel less bad about it now. Another one. Uh, feels peppy hands, man. We were crushing it all of a sudden that we're getting stomped on. <laughs> I mean, at least we can kill one of his guys. Heated debate. Is this uncounterable? What does that mean? Wow. It includes the ward ability. <laughs> I like how they threw that in there for everybody that's going to ask. <laughs> if there was like an actual pre-release event in paper, for sure, like everybody would ask. Four damage to a creature. Um, does that matter? Yes. Which one is it targeting? Sucks that we can't um, cast X spell now, but I think we just, we just needed to keep our guy. At least now we have better blockers in case he wants to try to alpha strike us. This guy's so good though. Draw cards, draw cards, make him cheap. He got a solid deck. I really like what he's doing over there. Ooh. And he has Zephyr Boots. These feel extra, but they're gonna really hurt us. Five, six, eight. Yeah, we're so dead. I'm the one who needed to draw a crux of fate. <laughs> Jin Wizard. Mm -hmm. A little late. Yeah. <laughs> A little late, but we'll cast them anyway. And then we'll give them the and then we'll give them one of these. And then we concede. Oh, well no, we attack. And then we concede. <laughs> That was brutal. It felt like we played that in every way that worked out for our opponent. 
but oh well. All right, two, two, what do we got here? Two packs if we win. Oh, we gotta get a thousand gems. All right, we gotta get another win. At least one more win, and then if we lose, it doesn't matter, we can do another draft. Not too bad, but um, now that we have more people in the chat, we can, we can let some people pick some picks for me. I did the first one mostly by myself, even though it was pretty solid. I just, um, it's more fun as a party. Wow, we got so many lands. <laughs> um, this hand seems fine, though. Got a creature, got a bunch of lands. No removal, but we definitely have plenty of it, so we'll probably draw into some if it matters. I'll play Swamp Swamp, probably, unless I draw a Orzhov creature. Valentine is nice. Um, actually, I will play the white source because if he plays a removal spell, I'll get a 3 2. Get to play with her again. She's really terrific. That exile effect on her is just so good. Even if you're not making creatures. Deadly brew. Play sacrifice a creature, blah, blah blah. That's so rude. Um, well, I guess it is what it is. We make our three two. And then just hope he doesn't have removal for this turn and we should be set. Another Salt Eye deck. So is that Wither Bloom? And Quantrix? Okay. Trample Lifelink. Ooh, he takes it. Well, he's gonna gain it back anyway, but that's fine. Man, I really, really want to draw the counter spell now. I forget the name of it. The four drop one. Novice Dissector, okay. Okay, this could be a problem for us. It's not too bad. I'll take a Professor's Warning. Um, how do I want to do this, though? One blue... There's no four spike, it's mana tithe, I think, from the archives. Let's go all in. Up. Oh. Really? Interesting. And only as a sorcery. Uh, I guess we're gonna let that happen. I'm fine with that trade. Got plenty of spells to protect our promising dust mages. And just need to draw into anything. The lifelink removes us from having lethal, but. Rampant growth with learn? Okay. That's not too bad. Got double of each color now, so he can cast whatever he wants. Expanded anatomy. <laughs> um, all right, well, that's a good spell to learn for, I suppose. Um, I'm just gonna do this now, just in case it ends up mattering. All right, it didn't matter, but we could have drawn. Um, we could have drawn the four drop and then I would like to have had some mana open but now that we have six lines that makes a lot more sense plus 
plus one, plus one, vigilance. That's actually really annoying. So he's going to go to 13. I'm going to go to 12. So annoying that that guy has lifelink. Uh, let's draw some cards. Not going to complain about a sign in blood draw. Whoa, counter like saw it's kind of this way, put it on top of its own library instead of the graveyard. That's rude. Um, you know what? I'm okay with that because we are going to block it with a beaming defiance next turn. And if he has a removal spell, we got two of them. <laughs> At least it didn't make us lose the life. That would have been brutal. Although memory lapse feels kind of brutal in draft. Um, all right. Do you have an answer? Do you have a counter spell? Do you have removal? What's the play? What's the play? Until end of turn, our creature gains death touch. When this creature dies, return to the battlefield under its own control. You gain two life. Uh, so we trade because of the death touch. But I'm going to get to draw a card. And he's going to have a 3-3 three, three instead of a 5-5. Five, five. That's fine. Nothing we could do about it anyway to change the results. Cool. So I'm still going to get to draw a card anyway, which I really need. And he's just going to have a 3-3. Three, three. We're fine with that. Oh, no. We've been betrayed. Our best creature. Uh, I guess let's do this first. It's kind of um, kind of hurts a lot to have to do that, but... Oh, that's a good draw. So, lifelink, menace. I like that. And this puts counters on our girl, which matters, and she gets lifelink, which we really need. Cool. Um, Killing's going to have to block, so I'm going to have to pray for no removal, but he might have one of these spells again. The Gokari spells are just so annoying against us. Oh, Sagemore Witch. That's a really good pick. Arrogant Poet. So she that's what the ward looks like. The fi like the fi the circles. I like that. It's kinda cute. Um oh wow, we get to finally play this card. Um Why not? Let's go for it. We're going to put the counter on him because he has Menace and we need this lifelink. Um, we're going to actually attack. I want to hold her back, I want to say. Yeah, let's let's hold her back. He doesn't have Death Touch, right? Oh, and it drains. I didn't realize that. I just thought they lost a life. So good for us. Um, he might try to block here for profit, which would be a punish. Um, oh yeah. Um, actually, no, because we only get to kill one of his guys. Well, we could do two, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, I suppose we could kill her and him instead of the croc. Or we could just trade with the croc. I have to use my spell though if I trade with both. So I'm just gonna trade with the croc. Feels feels bad. It still gained us some necessary life though. I'm okay with that. Hopefully he just tries to play a removal spell here. Although the witch is gonna get really bad for us with all these one ones. Oh man, this card is so much better than I thought it was gonna be.
I definitely want to try to try to make a Simic deck next time, based on how many times I've seen that card. Uh, flies in for two, no problem. Can't do anything about it. Ooh, X spell makes a difference. Um, but we can't attack with her because he's just gonna block with the six six, and we're definitely trying to X spell that. Yeah, let's just pass, but. I think we're in an okay spot, assuming he doesn't do anything crazy. That's not crazy. Although it gets a lot better with Sedgemore, which, oh man. We're gonna get beat up again. All right, plays a land, so it could be all right. It's not really profitable to attack with anything except for the flyer and the 6-6 six, six for him, it looks like. Which is really good for us. Wow, doesn't... Oh, interesting. Well, I, everybody's aware of this, so that makes sense. Um, and this is trading two for two each time. So I'm just going to let that happen and force us into this weird stalemate. Um, that's a bad draw, but can't do anything about that we, we already played sign and blood too so there's no way we can like double spell anyway uh i guess we could draw defiant strike so we'll just play it tapped no attacks we just have to hold back his army but our life total is getting dangerously low what does this do all oh, right but he paid the full cost, so he's just going to get to get lands or whatever. Two lands in the battlefield for six. And then you Magecraft trigger. Oh, three. I see. So you search for four. That's why it's a six drop. I was like, how is this better than like circuit circuitous route or whatever? It seems bad. But you search for four lands. Now it makes sense. Um, I guess we just take it since we have to. Oh my gosh, of course we're going to draw all our lands. That's so annoying. Usually I don't really complain about RNG. But we only have 15 lands in our deck. What are the odds? Oh, he's ready. He's got the counter spell. Well, we'll cast it, but we're probably walking into a counter spell here. Hmm, I guess not. Uh, this has to block Sedgemore. Oh, that has Menace. That's so ugly. All right, we'll block you there, and this is, did this fly? Did this fly? No. If it didn't fly, I can do that. No, I should keep it, because I can drain. Five, six, seven. I'm so dead. <laughs> I guess I'll just do it this way. If he has a way to punish me, he has a way to punish me. But uh, I, I kind of need every bit of life I can get. Campus guide, sure. I mean, it's a little late, but I'll take it. Um, if I attack, I go to two. I'm just dead no matter what, I'm pretty sure. Because I can't double block this. We'll kill a guy on the way out. And just in case I have a white daily. <laughs> well, that was brutal. Um, you guys want to do another draft? I, I, I have enough energy in me. I could do probably another draft if you guys want. Or we could battle some historic if anybody in the chat wants to play. Some historic. I haven't really built any new standard decks at all. Not that I've really, not that I've really updated my historic decks, but 
Uh, I feel like my standard decks would be way more out of uh, out of date than historic since I haven't updated them in at least a month. And historic I updated like a week ago. Uh, let's claim our prizes. Two packs. See what we get. Oh, we got four packs. Nice. Arceus Tunnel or Access Tunnel, sure. Reduced to memory. Hmm. I didn't have this before. That's so funny. The first copy. Academic Probation is interesting. I don't really think this card is good, but it is a lesson. So, like, maybe some deck is, like, really looking for that one answer. Why does this have, like, handlebars? Ah, because it's an archive. That's cool. I like that. Memory lapse. Good spell, too. Yeah, Anthony, if you want to play Historic, I'm down. Um, can you type in what your what your name is, or I can show you mine um, to add you on my friends list? You can see mine on screen, but I'll type it into Twitch chat for you. You got me with that firm request. <laughs> ah, we do have to kill creatures and six more of them, but I'm pretty sure when they say kill, it doesn't refer to exile, but I could be wrong. I don't really know how this daily works because I never tested it. Crafties. Tino. Oh, it's two T's. Will you let me? Will you let me? Will you let me? Oh, that's a money sign. <laughs> don't don't at me. Did it work? It says I sent you. Oh, there we go. All right, let me send you the challenge really quick. We'll do uh, challenge match best of three. Oh, you got it? Uh, oh, I got a message. Yo, I know it's Tino, bro. It's in your name. All right, uh, yeah. Best of three, 60 card coin flip, challenge. She got a challenge, bro. Accept and let's do battle. I don't know what you're playing, so don't tell me. I'm gonna play what is currently my favorite deck. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I, there it is. This is like my favorite deck right now. And I wanna try to see if I can update it for Strixhaven. Maybe Inquisition, but yeah, probably Inquisition instead of Agonizing Remorse would be better. Uh, for this specific deck, since it's such a low mana curve. Waiting on you. Oh, you said Tony. I was like, who's Tony? I didn't realize you called your brother Tony. But I guess that does make sense, since his name is Anthony. <laughs> Whoa, that's, this is not, no. <laughs> Uh, of course. <laughs> well, we're going to five. Sure, why not? Um, we'll do that. We'll do that. I think we're going to need this guy if we're going to win on a five. Looks like we're playing against control. Oh, I got punished. Maybe. Actually, I'm okay with him taking that. And we drew another. Having these is actually going to make it not too bad to be on a 5. Ah, uh, it's okay. He can watch. But if, but I appreciate it. <laughs> it's all playtesting, so it's not really that big a deal. Another one. Alright, so he's playing Grixis Control. 
Which makes sense for Tino. Tino really likes Grixis. Scare up God, Anger the Gods. I'm trying to think of like what that what cards would be in his deck. Prismari Command. I like that a lot. Uh Faithless Looting Shock, sure. Discards two islands. So he had too many lands, sure. But yeah, Prismari Command already showcasing its power. I mean, we don't have Colligan's Command in Historic yet, so like this is going to be the go-to, I imagine, for these uh, control players. Um, just draw some cards. I don't really run the Aether. I don't want to run this into like a field nuke, so we're just going to chip him. Although his spot removal might just be good enough that he doesn't care. He could have Bolas. He'll definitely have Scare of God. Swaltering Suns, yep. That's fine. Um, that's a pretty good draw. I think I'll just... Yeah, let's just do it. We need to draw cards. All right, that's not too bad. Would have liked that in reverse order, but at least we're getting decent draws. Considering it's a multi five. There are so many own your prowess. There's the bolt loss. Okay. That could be scary. How do you work? Yeah. Depart um, well, since it's bolt loss, we just want to run out a bunch of guys. We're gonna put a counter on you so that we don't die to sweltering suns. Flows through you. And you can die. So now that we don't have to worry about sweltering suns, we should be. Maybe we're okay. I mean, he could just have like a two-drop removal into a bowl loss here, and we're we're looking bald. <laughs> and a fatal push, and I'm bald. I am a god once again. Wow, bowl loss sounds actually actually scary. I like that. Um. I think I am okay with sacking the land here. We don't Let know what kind of creatures he has. Minds crumble. He might not have it, but I feel like he's going to have um, the four drop bolas that makes us discard a card when it enters, and we can kill that. So I'd rather not toss my removal spells away just yet. Um, this kind of feels like he has a removal spell. Oh, I see. He can Heartless Act because of the counter. This let's just make taste of let's just make Heartless power. Act useless, if possible. Um, if Fatal Push, then I don't want to risk it. So that's fine. I yeah, if he had a Fatal Push there, that would have been kind of bad for us or something. So. I guess this guy's going to be really hard for him to kill. Because it doesn't die to eliminate, doesn't die to Heartless Act. Doesn't die to Fatal Push, even if you revolt. But he could have, like, Hour of Devastation or something. And at least we still have Sorin. Ah, there it is. Okay, we knew this was going to happen, though. So... Let's try to kill it. Okay, cool. I think we're fine with that. And we'll pitch the Fatal Push. Although I probably should have activated this first. I guess it preserves our life total that we didn't activate it first, but I might have drawn something I'd rather discard instead. And then four mana again. If he has back-to-back -back ball losses here, I'm looking super dumb. All right, we're good. That's a great draw. I will gladly take that. And we'll play that. And we'll play that. This is a zombie, right? Yeah, so it's just there for removal. Um, let's do this so we can get to gain some life. I'm also pretty sure that the champion it does is way harder for him to kill. So I'm just going to keep making that guy bigger if possible. <clears throat> Assuming nothing crazy, we should have him. Extinction event. Um, odds and even, so. Alright. Your move. Uh, 
Um, yeah. I guess I don't mind another one. I bestow a mighty curse. If this gets through, then he has to deal with Soren because now we can just um, sacrifice a vampire to bolt him. I guess it's a lightning helix technically. But we should have the W here, at least in game one. Oh my goodness. He slayed himself. I respect that. Um, Alright, how do we want to play this? I think this haste here is going to matter. Um, the agonizing remorse should be good. Ley lines shouldn't matter. Graph stickers shouldn't matter. Fatal push probably doesn't matter. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> um, honestly, Heartless, Heartless Act shouldn't be that good. But... Am I willing to cut it? Let's not risk it. I think I'd rather have the um, the removal in case he has the small bull loss because that's probably the biggest threat he has against us. It rips, it rips a card out of our hand. If it flips over, we for sure lose. It blocks really well. Let's just, let's just have an answer to it. Does anybody else want to play, by the way, um, in case this match ends fast? It might not because he's playing control, but... I'll definitely play anybody else who wants to play Historic. And I'll probably use a different pick each time. Um, honestly, this hand isn't really that good, but I think I'm going to hold this, this thing back. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, he probably has removal for this, but that's fine. Could also be Essence Scatter, I suppose. Cycle for zero. The disrespect. Okay, that's actually good for us. We don't want to see this guy, and we don't have to. <laughs> Gotta let him know. Field passage, so no third land technically. Um, this is odd. This is odd. I think I'm just gonna activate this. I don't want to run out too many guys until like a uh, extinction event. But the, the, he could also just play sweltering sun. I think I'm just gonna pass actually. And then if he Sweltering Suns, we can activate Knight. And if he plays Bolas, we can Heartless Act. Or Murderous Rider. Um, or even just draw a card with Castle Actwain and cleave ourselves. I think I'm alright with that. Wow. No double blue. I'm going to draw a card. Six damage. Go to 12. Sure. If he kills our guy because of this, I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Soren, All right. And a land. That's pretty good. Um, no counter spell, technically. Let's play the Soren. It could still be like mystical dispute, I suppose, but Blood was my that's fine. And it um, will be your end. I think we want to hold this, and I don't want to run. In, I don't want to run creatures into his field nukes. So let's just make this guy bigger. Our fiends thirst for life. 
If we can get this guy out of Sweltering Sun's range without the need for the activation, that's actually pretty solid for us. He probably does have a Sweltering Sun, and he just didn't want to use it on only one creature. Ooh, Brass is Contempt. That's also pretty good. Well, at least we got some value out of Soren. I have other obligations. Gains back the life we dealt him. Um, no 5-drop ball loss, so that's good for us. And we can cast Agadames now, I think. Well, I mean, we could always cast it, but we can cast it for profit soon. Just got to get some guys in the bin. Extinction Event doesn't help with that, though. I... How many lands does this take? Three? I kind of just want to go with the Faceless Haven. Because this runs into Extinction Event if I play that. And we can still hold a Partless Act. And Murder Strider, technically, because of the Vigilance. If it connects, our Ebon gets bigger. Fatal push. Um, yeah, that's fine. Could have been worse. I didn't activate just because uh, we just want to hold this up for the potential Bolas the Ravager. Set a zero. Wow, cling my land. So rude. That draws you a card? Yep. Very cool. Six mana. What can you do with six mana? Nothing. <laughs> it is? Thoughtsies. Alright, what do you got? Is he gonna just like flashback his cling to dust? <laughs> There's the Ravager. Okay, well, we already knew about that. And we have removal for Balky too, but oh, he wants to cast the backside. Mm hmm. He can cast this um, and Bolas. We're going to take the counter spell. I have removal for everything else, and I don't want him to be able to try to stop that. Um, this can run in safely now that he doesn't have Extinction Event. If he draws it and plays it, I'm fine with that. But he's probably going to try to draw land, hit one of these guys into play, and then we're just going to murder his rider. He's really patient with those Vraska's Contempts too. I kind of like that. No need to rush yet. Not quite at a critical life total. Draws a card off of that, so. Two cards I don't know about. There's the Valky on the front side. Interesting. Um, so he can take one of my Murder Striders. That's ugly. I think we just let that happen and see what else he does. Oh, I guess he just—he doesn't know what's in my hand, so he wants to make make sure he can run his ball loss out. That makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and kill this guy with the murder strider. We're gonna get another one back anyway for the tibble. And we can Heartless Act Bolas with more efficient mana. Moment of Craving. That's nice. Missed that card. 
All right, guys, I, I kind of missed when that card was good. Not the best draw. Mm. He has Vraska, so I'm really not incentivized to put mana into this. Let's go ahead and do this. He doesn't have enough mana to flip the bow loss right off the bat. But he probably will cast it. I think it would be worth it at least to get a card out of my hand. This agony is just like not profitable at all right now. Yep, there's the Nickel Ball loss. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna discard the Agony Awakening. As much as I want it, it's just like so useless right now. It's not gonna do anything soon. And if I'm gonna win this, it's gonna be because I won it quickly and not let him draw like eight cards. Mm. That's fine, I suppose. At least the Knight of the Ebon Legion could get bigger now. Um, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, it looks like. I wish I could pump him, but he's at that Vraskal's Contempt. Goes to five, uh, or goes to three, but I have five damage on board. Oh, but that, yeah, that doesn't get him life because he has to hit a creature. So I could present lethal next turn, assuming he taps down, but he's in a restless contempt almost certainly. Yeah, he's really patient with his contempt and just kept drawing cards, which I respect. I think that's his best bet to try to win this is just keep going until you get extinction event. And then once you get the extinction event, you can do whatever you want. Um, so we're gonna lose a rider, but we're gonna kill the Bolas. Do this before the trigger in case he has a counter spell. And then. Resolves. Mm hmm. Oh, I guess we have to make him have it. Wow, really patient. I respect it. Um, no need to rush. I think we're gonna draw a card here. His only out is um, extinction event anyway. I guess now it's just any removal spell so that he doesn't lose to the veto trigger. Hmm. Excuse me. I guess it is getting kind of late. Swell Terrain Suns. There it is. I'll take it. Only one creature. Sure. Don't know what the mystery card is, but he doesn't have five cards for Cling to Dust, at least. We're going to go to ten. We're going to draw some card. Champion of Dusk is fine. I think we'll play these guys first, and then hopefully try to get a triple trigger on this champion. He draws X equal to the vampire, so the more that are in play, the better. Um, but even as just a five drop for four, he's always pretty good. And other sweltering suns. That's fine. Um, yeah, this guy's like my biggest creature, and that's what I usually minus Soren for, which is kind of funny. Faceless Haven is good. Um, double Vampire again, and he has the habit now. He's in a. Oh, he didn't have enough. He only had five cards. That includes itself. If he was able to cling there, that might have been really bad for us. Um, does have it? It looks like we win. I mean, this could be a kill spell, actually. Let's see what happens. Draw. And so he goes to... I think he's still dead. Because I gained two life, and then Vito kills him. 
Well, I think we got him. Does anybody else want to play? Otherwise, I'll give Tino a rematch, probably. Oh, what did he, oh, he gained some life with the cling to dust. Smarts. I totally missed it. Well, now if I lose, I look dumb. <laughs> no extinction event. Although, it doesn't matter because I have odds and evens. Narset. Narset, peel, bow loss. No peel, bow loss, minus three. Prepare. I think it has to be more than bow loss. I think it has to be extinction event. Supreme will, not good enough. Unless it's sweltering suns again? That'd be crazy. I mean, he did just dig like 10 cards, right? Um, player champion. Draw four cards. Oh no, there's an R set. <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, hopefully that doesn't matter. That's pretty good. Oh, is that what he did last turn? I want a craving. That would make sense. I have just the trick for this. Narset into Narset. Into Bolas. <laughs> Fatal push, pretty good. Uh, can't kill the champion. Kills Vito, that's good. GG's. That's the wrong one. There it is. Um, yep. Let's not dilly dally. Just end the turn or end the game. Anybody else want to play? Otherwise, I'll give Tino a rematch. And uh, I could probably play another match or two before I'm calling it. It's been about two hours since we started. Usually try to keep it about two to three hours. So I'm not um, streaming trash. Which one of these am I doing? Wither Bloom? Oh, you got avatars from these now? That's so cool. I will apply that. <laughs> um, Anthony, you, your brother want to play again? Um, since nobody else is responding, I'll send, him, I'll send him another challenge and see what happens. Oops, actually, that's best of one. Let's try that again. Um... Best of three. And if he wants to play again, he can accept it. Sweet. Um, let's try a different deck. I'm assuming he's going to play the same one, but let's not metagame him. Let's play something. Uh, something sound. Something fun. Hmm. Sweet. Yeah, I, I already accepted his challenge. Uh, let's try this deck out. I really like this deck. Um, it's very fun. One of my friends was streaming it yesterday or two days ago, I want to say, for like an IQ, and Goblins is looking really good. It's just sometimes you draw too many lands like this. <laughs> get a hand like this or you get too many draw land draws and it just looks really bad. Uh, let's go ahead and mulligan. Sure, I'll give you a game after him. Um, I guess I have to keep it. They don't want me to have less than five lands. Um, hopefully we draw like a Skirk. Lands. Oh, he has a, a different deck. Very cool. Wait a minute. My calculations. Thalia's cool. Um, I'm glad this doesn't matter for us. I guess it does matter if I get Iron Craig feet. Um, that one too. Let's do the War Chief because uh, I think that mana is going to matter. No attacks, of course. Um, the mana could really matter, especially if we draw Skirk. We really want this Cranko to start popping off. Skyclave is fine. I'd rather he doesn't hit my Cranko anyway. Getting kind of low on life, though. Lower than we'd like to be. 
Um, how do we want to run this? I think what we do is just play Cranko. Risk. We can risk the Coco, risk the Skyclave. Um, this kind of stops him from attacking if he doesn't have an answer. And then we try to get out Matron and Skirk Prospector. I mean, we have Arcane Tower, so we could also play like Matron Chieftain or some, something like that. Luminarch Aspirant's interesting. The first strike here is going to get scary. Um, yeah, how do I want to do this? Because I have Phyrexian Tower. But that's only black mana, so... Let's play this land instead. And we'll play the Matron. And I think I'm just going to grab a Skirk. I could just grab Moxus in case he has removal. Yeah, let's just grab the Moxus and play it safe. Um, and now we have blockers just in case. Yeah, this is better. I could have played Skirk, Prospector, and some guys, but... That's so funny. <laughs> good draw, good draw. I like that. So he gets to take my Moxus. I mean, he probably would have taken my Matron anyway. Um, but we'll have enough mana to play both of these guys next turn. And we'll have one, two, three, a lot of goblins. Assuming he doesn't attack all. If he does... If he only attacks with Alia, I think I'm not blocking. That flies, though. Scary. One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, it's safe to block, actually. I don't need all of these guys. Uh, let's block with the Matron so that my stack looks better. Cranko, that's funny. Does this still let me cast it? Wow, I can still play it as an 8 drop? Interesting. So I draw one more land. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I think we can attack all. He has to block. If we draw a land, we can cast Moxus, so... Oh, actually, we get the Moxus back, right? Or does this exile it forever? I actually don't know. Uh, what is this blocking? Oh, it's in a trade anyway. It doesn't matter. Wow. Survives at two. We got his whole board. I get a blocker. He gets a one, one Wow. And he kills himself. It's so funny because I was actually going to play the Celestia Coco deck. That would have been really funny if we played a mirror match. And by funny, I mean really boring. Um, looks like we want these, 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 and these. <laughs> actually, I don't think we want, we want all that. <laughs> um, let's see. Which, one's, which one of these do we actually want? I'm going to bring in the Braid just in case he has... Um... Oh, what are the odds he plays Grafdigger's Cage? He's probably playing Coco. Like... If he plays Graft Diggers, isn't that Inting? Chain Roller, though, seems good. I could probably cut the Iron Crack Feeds. Yeah, I'm just going to cut the Iron Crack Feeds. I'll bring in one of Braid. It could end up mattering. He could have a better artifact than... He could have a better artifact than Grafdigger's Cage, right? Maybe he boards in Grafdigger's and cuts his Cocos and then big brains me. Well, that's an actual playable hand. It doesn't have six lands in it. <laughs> you like my sleeves? Land or Elf. Interesting.
That guy is annoying. I like what he's doing with it, though. So you take my Snoop or my Muxus? I mean, it feels like since this guy doesn't actually take it forever. Make sure it makes sense. I, feel, I probably would have taken the Snoop and kept me off a of turn two play. War Chief is not a bad draw. I will gladly take that. And he has three power too. That's so crazy. Um, I think I actually want to cast this guy to draw a card. Yeah, let's go for that. That's good. So we'll have mana next turn, and we can cast Moxus with Phyrexian Tower. Uh, uh, I'm oh ah, thank you. I knew God was real. <laughs> he always has a plan, guys. <laughs> That's really unfortunate for him, though. That Coco could have been anything, and he would have blew me out. Although I still would have one Goblin, so... F yeah, four, um, four mana and then the Phyrexian Tower, sack the Wily Goblin, play Moxus, would still be a play. Um, but confirmed Coco, so confirmed no Craft Digger's Cage. I think we can kill him this turn. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And do this, and sack this, and play this. And let's see what happens. We got Skirk, so I think we got him. Um, I want Krenko, right? Is he gonna scoop? He might. Um, I guess I can't blame him if he does. Sack this guy, sack this guy. Sack this guy. And we'll sack one of these just to be safe. And just pass. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh man, for some reason I thought that was like, it was gonna be like a warship. And I was like, oh my gosh, we got blown out. <laughs> If he would have had warship, I would have cried, but that's not legal, right? I'm pretty sure that's not legal. Guess we grab another Moxus. And then we tap. And then we Moxus. And this should be lethal after this one resolves. I don't have to derp around. <laughs> but that goblin. What's up, Paul? All right, I think we got it, so I'm just gonna swing out, not waste any time. Uh, let's get one of these in just in case. Just in case. And of course, thank you for the game, Tino. Appreciate it. I'll send you the PayPal in a minute. <laughs> Um, Anthony, if you're ready, I can, uh, you can go ahead and queue up a challenge, so I'll be ready after the match. Against goblins? You just grab Digger's Cage like the rest of the format. Everybody main boards it. Yeah, especially in blue-white. Blue-white control main boards Graph Digger's Cage, and then Moxus is bad, and then you just kill them. Honestly, Blue Eye Control has been the best deck for me personally, but I don't play it on stream because it's super boring. Um, all right, if you're ready, Anthony, I'm ready. Do you have a different account? 
or do you play from Tino's? Looks like he logged out to let you log in. Yeah, I mean, that's just basically what I've been seeing, Paul. Like, every blue white list main board's graph diggers. Although that might change with Strixhaven. Although I don't think Strixhaven gave them anything better than main board and graph diggers cage. And it just hoses all the decks that give you any kind of problem. Um, blue white feels really good to play against or play right now, though. It's just so boring. Like, I, especially on stream when you're just like sitting there and then like your opponent's not doing anything. Um, Baffling Hunt's pretty good against all these uh, decks you want to keep their cards in exile. I wonder if Mana Tithe will be playable. <laughs> That'd be really funny. I mean, it's no Force Spike, but it is Blue White Control. Ah, it is a different account. Okay, let me add you. Bacon Pug, one one five, one one seven seven three, send. All right, you got a request. And I'll send you the challenge really quick. Best of three. I think I might call it after this match just because it's been it's it's getting kind of late. Uh, are you talking about seal away? Oh, did it not work? Oh, my challenge is going through still. Are you getting the challenge, Anthony, or is it broken? Sometimes it breaks because uh, Arena is esports ready and. Uh, not in beta or whatever. <laughs> ah, challenge accepted. There we go. Yeah, Seal Away is, is solid. I, I've seen a lot of lists playing Seal Away. I was enjoying Baffling in, but um, ah, either one is fine. Um, there's so many different control brews right now. I've been playing the Jeskai version just because I like to win fast. Oh, did we break the challenge? Let me try again. Uh, best three challenge. Uh, and then hopefully that works, Anthony. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's play a different deck. So not vampires and not goblins. We will play this one. Uh, that's all right. It happens. Um, yeah, I, I get you, Paul. Um, it's been hard, honestly, to keep up with arena for a lot of people, but... Um, I have been playing it a lot just because I really miss playing Magic. Looking forward to events coming back soon, but Redacted has kind of put a damper on all that. Um, hello. Always be courteous. I am just gonna do this. We only need two black sources, and it doesn't matter to have them early. So let's do this and play this guy. And we should be good. Yeah, um, oh man, if you haven't played in a while, Kaladesh Remastered and Amonkhet Remastered came out and they gave us a lot of cool stuff. We've got Wrath of God, Settle the Wreckage, Day of Judgment. Um, the new field nuke from Kaltime, Doomscar is really good because it's a three job after you um, Tuck it away with uh, Fortel. Tiny Bones. <laughs> of course, Anthony. What is this? All right, let's play this and hope he doesn't kill it. Um, and we can get in some damage at least. Uh, yeah, there's just so much stuff for blue-white control. Like, it just feels like a, like a modern deck or at the very least a pioneer deck. But Historic, honestly, across the board is just really powerful. You get a ton, of, a ton of old cards from historic anthologies that aren't even legal in Pioneer and some aren't legal in Modern. So it's an interesting format. Um, I get to cast both of these, so unfortunately I'm going to have to give up the Overgrown Tomb. Feels bad if I draw a... Uh, well, I have the Jaspara, so he can't take me off black quite yet. Um, so we play this. And we name Elf. And then 
quickly activate this and tap this and play this. And then we activate Elvish Heart Druid and we go go nuts. Oh, and the clan color. Oh yeah. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. So if he blocks, I don't care. If he discards me, I don't care. Actually, I don't care at all. We're gonna go all at him. Just gotta kill him as fast as possible. I mean, next turn he extinction events, right? I'm almost certain he's in an extinction event. Hello. All right, so mono black make me discard my whole deck. I honestly don't think we sideboard anything for this, as bad as that is. Like, the Skoos isn't going to be great. Like, if I have the mana for this to be useful, I'm probably already doing okay. Um, I want as much fast mana as I can get that I can, yeah, that I know of. I don't think I want to cut the Jasparas. Obviously, Visionaries are good. Imperius Perfect is going to be good. Realm Marker is good. He's not playing anything I want to get rid of. I mean, I could bring in Thoughtseize, maybe. Do I do I get scared of any enchantments? He could play Grafdinger's Cage, and maybe Reclamation Sage is good, but I also don't think Grafdinger's is that bad for us against him. This one is good because it's... A, equal to our graveyard too. Imperious Perfect is a lord. I really don't want to cut any lords. Yeah, I'm just going to run it back. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Champion of Wits is back, man. It's honestly solid. There's a, there's already... um. I'll try to pull up the deck list if you're still around after this match, but um, there is a... Godfaro's Gift deck in Historic, which is funny because um, there are no Team or Energy lists. I mean, you could build a Team or Energy list, but it's like basically unplayable. But Martyr Vehicles made it in as a playable deck, and Godfaro's Gift made it in as a playable deck. I've even seen Okechus Monument as a playable deck, um, but definitely no Team or Energy. The problem with Team or en Energy, or I guess um, Aetherworks Marvel, is that all the cards don't immediately come into play like with Euro and all that all the other cards that are meta. <laughs> Plus Thoughtseize is like the best card in the format. So like if they take you off of your engine you look dumb. And if you draw all your bombs you look dumb. Innocent blood, that's really cool. Um no black source then I guess and uh let's just go double spell. I could have played the War Master, but if he one for ones me, we're gonna look bald. I want to try to sneak in one of these guys as fast as possible. Um, but he's also going to have Witch's Vengeance, which looks really bad for us. With that being said, I think we have to risk it. If he Witch's Vengeance us, we, we're going to lose anyway. But he kept his hand because it has Grafdigger's Cage, so it doesn't have a field nuke. <laughs> oh, you don't like Godfrey's Gift? Oh, it's such a funny deck. I built it, but I haven't played it yet. So I kind of want to try it out before Historic gets too crazy with Strixhaven. But Strixhaven 100% resets the format, considering how many cards we got from Mystical Archives. Yeah, exactly. All these cards that people have been wanting for Modern. We, we have a Dual Caster Mage in, in uh, this format from Jumpstart. And it turns into a combo deck with Neo, Neoform and um, Seagate Stormcaller. So you get to search your whole deck for all your dual caster mages and all your glass pole mimics. And then you get Tuck Tuck so that you give them all haste and you just blow them out in one hit. It's actually been one of my favorite decks to play. But um, it also gets hosed by Graf Digger's Cage, so you have to watch out. Yeah, like everything in the format is super absurdly powerful, but gets hosed by this one beautiful card. <laughs> And then there's a braid, of course. So, like, there's answers to the Grafdigger's Cage, but the Grafdigger's Cage is the king. Let's play this guy, and then let's play Clan Caller. 
Uh, we're going to have to build up an army to get through this. And then hopefully he doesn't have a Witch's Vengeance. Well, we just got the Time Warp. So I think Time Warp was a Mystical Archive. We just got it as of like a week ago. But uh, I haven't seen any lists playing the Time Warp yet, but it's probably going to be broken. Nexus of Fate got banned because it was for sure broken. <laughs> um, which is kind of funny. Did he just... My Empire is perfect, bro. Like that. Alright. Um, this guy can go in. This guy can go in. This guy can go in. This guy tutors for nothing, right? Yeah, so lame. Yeah, it can be rocked by with Tamiyo. Although... Those decks are kind of slow. The Simic decks that do that are pretty slow. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some list that tries Time Warp out. But, um, who knows? Oh, no, you thought these yourself? That's so sad. Um, hold on, I'm calculating. Oh, my God, I hit no attacks. <laughs> I misclicked. Sorry, Anthony. I'm not trying to troll you, I promise. I don't know if it's 100% more broken than Nexus. That I would have to disagree with. <laughs> and into the cry of Cranarium. That's hilarious. Um, if it makes you feel better, I drew Coco. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and scoop so we can play game three, since I, uh, didn't attack. <laughs> we'll just call it definitely wanting to see game three. I want to see more of that deck, because I love Tiny Bones. Yeah, Mystic Sanctuary is good. It's just, uh, if you haven't played Historic in a while, like, Tamiyo Time Warp is kind of slow compared to a lot of the other things you could be doing. Like, turn three Neo Storm combo isn't even, like, the best deck. And there's, like, so many other crazy things you could be doing. Um, where, like, you, you might look bald if your deck is Euro into Time Warp into Tamiyo. You might actually get uh, pooped on. They've banned enough of the Saltai cards that... It's not too crazy. Nexus of Fate is just always free, and there's no reason to buy it back or anything. And it's an instant. But I wouldn't be surprised if they end up banning Time Warp after a while when people figure the decks out. Control already has like a decent plan, though. I don't know if they need Time Warp. Yeah, me too. Um, let's see. So we're going to go with this guy, and we're going to go with this guy. And that gives us a lot of mana to work with. Waste not. Oh, man. You're always playing these funny decks, man. I love it. Uh, let's see. So we have four mana. I really wish we had more than that, but... What are the odds that we get bodied by the Cry of the Carnarium? All right, let's do this. If it happens, it happens. But if it doesn't, we still got these guys. And that should be fine. Although we need to draw a forest. Don't do it. Oh, Hardacron. All right. So we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Kind of wish I drew a forest, but whatever. Um, let's do this one. And now Cry the Carnarium isn't good enough. GG's. Yeah, I like your deck. I just feel like it needs a way more aggressive removal, or at least you gotta put it in your sideboard if it's gonna deal with stuff like elves and goblins and whatnot. Um. Did you want to play again, Anthony? I'll give you one more match if you want. Um, otherwise, I think I might call it. You had six wipes? Oh, but you needed a swamp? 
That's annoying. I feel your pain. Um, all right. Okay, different deck. Sounds good. All right, I'll do one more match with Anthony, and then I'm going to call it, probably. It's been two and a half hours. And if I keep staying up this late, I'm going to probably start yawning, and that's going to be annoying. I'll send you the challenge, my bad. Best of three, challenge. All right, so we played vampires, we played elves, we played goblins. Um... What else do we got? Did you get the challenge, Anthony? Okay, he got it. Um, let's see, what do we want to do here? Did I finish the God Pharaoh's gift? Maybe not. Um, let's try this out. I like this deck, and I actually haven't played it in like a month because it kind of feels so dirty to play. Although knowing Anthony, it's probably going to be a bad matchup for whatever he's playing, assuming he's playing a different deck. Lands and spells, we like to see it. Oh no, my sleeves gave it away. He knows what I'm playing. <laughs> Mulligan to five? Oh, brutal. Uh, Absen, or maybe he's playing four color. All right, well, we'll play the tap land first, get it out of the way, and then start playing our two drops. This is colorless. These guys are just in here because they gain life. But we'll play one first to throw them off. And let's play the Cold Steel Heart. I'm going to go ahead and choose black. I don't think the color matters, actually. <laughs> he should know what I'm deck I'm on, deck I'm on, but he might not. Are you playing Kethis combo? Bro, that might be a bad matchup, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and play this before he starts Mox Ambering. Our actions determine the course of history. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Please do not do that. Oh, Othakaya. All right, fine. I'm you may Mox Amber. Uh, land, five mana, let's play fine stone, so we have four mana, well three mana matter, I guess we could get the Gigantha, uh, yeah, let's get out of the Gigantha actually, I don't have a Ulamog or anything yet, okay, this blocker might matter, who knows, if he's comboing me, this is going to be awesome, looks like it's actually just Absan. That's funny. I was putting you on the combo deck, but I guess we don't see any blue. Let's play Ugin. Uh, let's get rid of this guy before he becomes a problem. I can create or destroy. Why not green? Sure. And the Guardian Idol. And we're going to lose Ugin, but we have Mind Stones to draw cards. Hero of Precinct 1, okay. Absent Multicolored, I like that. That's really cool. I haven't seen a Hero deck in a while. I kind of miss Esper Hero now. That's so funny. Um, how do I want to play this? I think I'm going to plus because I can still play Chikanta as a blocker. He's going to give me the Guardian Idol. So we can go ahead and play Chikanta. All 
All right. Well, I'm glad I pulled her out. I almost never use her. This is like the first time I've cast her in this deck, I think, ever. <laughs> She's usually not... Um, You've usually done something crazy by the time she's relevant. But I'm glad that he gave me a position where I get to showcase her. Ah, oh, brutal. By the oh, that's not multicolored, interesting. That kind of ends up being bad in your deck. I feel like you want to switch this out for some of those Orzhov spells in the Strixhaven. Forsaken Monument always comes down. No ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, that's plus, even though we can get a Rahidron Archive. We're going to get a Mountain, apparently. It's fine. Uh, let's do... Well, why are you doing that? Can I just... Let me draw cards. Let's draw again. We have a lot of mana. Just to draw some cards. All right. We lose Karn, but we get to Ugin. Uh, for those of you guys that are lurking or chilling or whatever, um, don't forget that you guys can sign up for our historic tournament happening on Saturday. The first place prize is a set booster of Strixhaven, and there will be additional prizes for the rest of the players in the tournament based on participation how many players show up we'll throw in more prizes um we've been loving doing the giveaways for you guys i know a lot of you guys have been super excited with that so we'll hopefully be able to do more of that on saturday when we um run the tournament and then we'll be opening some collector boosters soon possibly on stream if we get a chance and If you guys want to give us a like or a follow, we certainly appreciate those. Uh, I think we just minus three, and then we win. We can grab our Mystic Sanctuary or whatever it's called. Uh, where is it? Wait, it's not there. Am I blind? I thought that was the four drop in here that I, that, um, I'm pretty sure I had the four drop in here that, um, lets you play the top card of your deck, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab this and that should shore it up. Forsaken Monument and Guardian Idols should be enough. And then the Meteor Golem is a five, five. Shevel, sure. Yeah, I actually didn't predict him to be on like a absent mid-range deck. This is like his worst matchup. Uh, I feel bad now. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have played Tron. Every time I play this deck, it's always a bad time. Um, you're good. You're not. Graphic Cage could end up mattering, but I can always grab it with Karn. Do I want anything else? Nah. Actually, the Stone Coil Serpent could be could be relevant. Pro multicolored? Pro multicolored? Anybody against Hero? <laughs> Ooh. Well, here we go. What is what does he got in the sideboard? What's his tech for Tron? I wonder if he has, like, st is there Stony Silence in the format? I can't remember. Stony Silence would be interesting. I suppose I could have his own cards, which would be hilarious to turn off my artifacts. And then I'm in a really, really bad spot. It got so quiet. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm assuming most of you guys are just lurking anyway, just chilling.
I suppose if he has like thought seizes, he could put me off of a good hand. This hand is pretty slow too. I don't think that his deck has zero chances. It's not like traditional Tron from modern. That would be actually a nightmare for him. Let's scry for something better. Um, as much as I want this, I actually think I need to hit like a Mind Stone here to be um, in a better spot. I can Karn for a, another one from my sideboard. Fiend Artisan, that's cool. Uh, yeah, this is a much better draw. And we'll just name green. Doesn't really matter. I don't think I have extinction events in the deck anymore. Otherwise, I would name, I'd be naming black. But I'm pretty sure this list cuts the extinction events. It was basically like a black Tron deck before that with Elfner Dreadlands because it's a colorless land, but it's also black. Look at his little toy. That's so cute. I didn't even notice that. He's got a little doll. <laughs> The Inventress Fair is a, is a good draw, I think. Um, let's go ahead and play it. And let's go ahead and play Heatron Archive. If he does have a way to turn off our artifacts, we still have lands to play, so it shouldn't be too bad. Karn into Golos is still reasonable. Cycles a land. Hmm. He must really have a bad hand if he's willing to do that. Oh, game one, he also mulled to five, right? Yeah, brutal. In a terrible matchup, too. I think they need to add... Uh, I guess it wouldn't really make a difference, but Fulminator Mage would be cool for Historic. The only real land removal that we have that's relevant is, like, Field of Ruin. But I guess we have some, like, other spells that are kind of interesting. Probably just gonna kill the Varaska and not 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 um, risk it getting out of hand. If she were to alt, that would be a really good way for him to actually win against Tron. Kafis. It's a cute scroll. All right, how do I want to do this? I think we do this. And then we minus Forsaken. Play this Forsaken. Plus. Wow, that's pretty good. Grab Golos. Uh, Golos will search for. Let's just grab the World Tree, I think. And then we can start activating Golos. Yeah, with the World Tree, if you have six or more lands, everything's a, a rainbow land, which is crazy. You're never activating the ability, unfortunately. That'd be kind of fun. But uh, rainbow means ca activating Golos, and activating Golos means casting free Ulamogs. I'm sure you guys know how that goes when you play EDH. Let's see if we can grab something good you will not before we start running our hand out. Um, Meteor Golem is probably terrific. Let's go ahead and plus Ugin. Assassin's Trophy on my Ugin. Oh, on my Forsaken Monument. Let's activate this first. Oh, well, that's GG's. Oh, I don't have a basic because I already played my mountain. That's so sad. Lies beyond vision. Perfection is a journey, not a destiny. Yeah, Ugin is just so good against this deck. This is such a bad matchup for him. Sorry about that, Anthony. I didn't mean to get all sweaty on you. Let's try hard. Um, we'll go ahead and minus for a construct here. Try to end it fast and put him out of his misery. I awaken. 
We should have lethal. This makes it bigger. Garrick's good. He can kill my 6-6. Six, six. Two blockers also. Um, well, that just ends it. Okay, fair enough. GG's. Sorry about that, bud. Hopefully, next time I'll play a less toxic deck. Um, let's finish him off. Give him the whip. And thanks for stopping by, everyone. I appreciate it. It's been fun. I hope you guys are having fun, too, even if you're just chilling or lurking. Um, Saturday, we should be streaming again. It depends on how the historic tournament goes. Uh, we would like to stream the historic tournament, so if you guys show up and want to battle for that, um, late signups are fine totally on Saturday if you want to just join the Discord to play in the historic tournament. Let me go ahead and toss up the uh, historic ad, actually. Magical Swish. Um, 24th starts at 7. It's going to be $10 entry. First place gets a set booster if you guys want to battle it out in historic, new format, new decks, uh, new meta, so people can't cheese you with the deck they've been playing for three months already. And uh, otherwise, yeah, I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for stopping by. If you guys want to like, share the post, follow, all that jazz, I really appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you for the support, and you guys have a good one. Bye-bye.